Hey guys, DMV Solar Rider back with another video. Somewhat unplanned, like my Indian demo day. Before I forget, um, I'd certainly appreciate it if you hit that like button. I put my ride or ride related content out every Friday, so hit that subscribe button, smash that notification bell so you're made aware when my new videos are out. I don't know how, but I got an email from Harley Davidson. It's like a marketing email, not to me about this you know contest to win a harley davidson based on you know uh, entries and a drawing and they uh they issue you know entries based on the number of miles you actually ride a motorcycle in a period of time so i figured well i mean i'm riding i might as well try it out why not so i downloaded the app and then my first two really long rides about 600 miles I of course forgot all about it but the other day I was out on like a 500 mile jaunt you know just out cruising in the neighborhood the DMV neighborhood <clears throat> and I remembered about it and I turned it on and all that but anyways long story short is when you download the Harley app they have a section for like Harley events and I was looking through it and one of them was what seems like an Indian demo day, but at my local Harley Davidson dealer, Harley Davidson of Washington, DC, which is out in Fort Washington, Maryland. And as far as I can tell, you basically show up and you can ride whatever bikes you want, as long as you're willing to provide, like answer a few questions after each ride, I guess about your experience on that particular bike. Now, it, I, I don't know if it's gonna be just like Indian's demo day or if it's a little different, they asked me what time I was going to, you know, I called them to see if I could film, if they were letting people ride who had no, no plans to buy a bike, and they said absolutely. Um, they said, you know, no problem filming or whatever. But they asked me for a specific time, and at Indians Demo Day is just, you know, cattle call. Everyone shows up, the bikes are there all day on, you know, they do rides every, you know, probably one ride every 30 minutes. So I'm not sure how exactly this is gonna go. We might just be able to ride one bike or we might be able to ride them all. And yeah, I'd love to ride a street glide and compare it to my Chieftain, a road glide. All right guys, we're at Harley Davidson of Washington DC. I'm gonna go in and see what's what we'll be back so our next ride is the road glide it's a big bike that almost stalled oh that's nice okay so road glide this is what the challenger was made to compete with a little uncertain about the friction zone I should have checked that out that's the live wire that's fast oh this feels great plenty of get up and go you know, I gotta be honest, the front interior compared to the Challenger is actually, I kinda like it better because it's not as high up. It is more tilted in front of you and that's really nice. It 
it's got the Harley rumble I felt on the first two. I mean, this feels great. The pickup on this bike is excellent. I mean, I guess the Challenger is more powerful, but you know, is that something I'm really gonna know just from the way I ride? Probably not. It definitely feels a little rougher around the edges than say the Challenger. Handles beautifully. I have no issues with the handling on this bike. I like these handlebars. I mean, I'd, I'd have to do something different. But I gotta be honest, guys, no wind buffeting whatsoever. Not a peep. What am I doing? 55, nothing, nothing, nothing. This fixed fairing absolutely just has the wind going right over me. I wouldn't need it. I mean, I, I, I don't know what it would be like at 100 miles an hour, but based on what I'm feeling, I, I would assume nothing. No issue. really really impressed I mean I am surprisingly impressed I just figured oh I'd ride this the Challenger would be so much better no both bikes are really comparable but I'm gonna tell you the way this fairing works is outstanding and it feels a little better than the street glide in terms of weight and balance really having an issue with that friction zone. I don't know, it's like you gotta let the clutch out a little too far for my taste compared to what I'm used to. Well guys, we are done at Harley-Davidson in Washington, D.C. So, as we head back to Virginia, what are my wrap-up thoughts? Harley has a little bit of a rumble to it that you don't really get. Like I have a little pillowy rumble on my Chieftain, but it's not, I don't know how to say it. It's not as guttural as the Harleys. And I kind of dug it. Uh, didn't have any bad experiences with inappropriate vibration. It's just the kind of vibration that lets you know you're riding a motorcycle. Now again, <laughs> you know, a five minute ride, you're not gonna know if it's something you would enjoy riding long term. Maybe the, the, the guttural vibrations I felt would bug the hell out of me on a 12 hour ride like I did on my Chieftain yesterday. You know, Chieftain was great for 12 hours. I just don't know. And yeah, you know, the sales guy actually asked me, you know, well, what would it take to get you on a road glide? And I said, you know, I would have to actually ride it under circumstances that let me know if I'm gonna enjoy it and a five minute ride isn't it I'd have to go rent one basically which you can do and go put a thousand miles on it you know I mean obviously I probably wouldn't do that for any new motorcycle but put a lot more mileage on it than I ever did for my scout or my chieftain to be honest I can't say that the uh, test riding I did was meaningful but I'm I'm really lucky that they're two great motorcycles I really like the road glide. Um, you know, the Challenger has a huge fairing, which is nice. It looks good. I was very comfortable with it when I rode the Challenger. I think if you go and watch my test ride of the Challenger and you think about camera positioning, you can see that sometimes that camera is not getting up over the lip. <laughs> the Challenger fairing is very high get into the dials and all that and on the road glide <clears throat> it's totally different the road glides fairing kind of swoops forward it's not up like this it's pitched it's like a, almost like the open end of a clamshell and I really liked it I I really really liked it I liked the way that it looked from the inside I think we got up to about 55 miles an hour in fourth gear and I had no buffeting whatsoever. Now, I mean, the handlebars on that bike were, you know, I was leaning forward pretty good. 
You know, they were not laid back bars like I have on my Chieftain. So maybe a more upright seating position on that bike will, will create some buffing issues. I don't know. Uh, but I'll tell you, in the bike that I rode and the seating position that I was in, I wasn't missing the electric uh, windshield because I didn't even think about it. Didn't even think about it. Power felt great. Uh, the bike was maneuverable. No issues with balance or, or fairing weight, nothing like that. In terms of pickup, I mean, again, the Challenge is a fast motorcycle. I enjoy it. Road Glide was fast too. For a big touring bike, none of them are sport bikes. But, you know, I, I wouldn't feel like I was missing power on my Road Glide. So I'm on a Chieftain now, Road Glide's more powerful. I love my bike right now. It's not like I'm like, God, I need to go buy a Road Glide. I might, but not today. But, you know, they're all powerful. And, you know, Harley is something that can be customized, upgraded in a way that Indian lacks because Indian's only been around for a few years in comparison. You know, the name's been around for a long time, but this iteration of the company is new. It's not a big third party ecosystem. But I really, you know, again, I really enjoyed the road glide. I could see myself on that bike for hours on end. It's got the same seat as the street glide, so it was very comfortable. I was really impressed, really surprised at how much I liked how that fairing felt and looked to me compared to the Challenger. You know, I, I like the Challenger screen better. I'm not going to say otherwise. You've got to lean forward a little bit to touch the Harley, which as a short rider is never a good thing. But, you know, if you got car play, who cares? You know, you're never going to be touching it anyway. Just tell Siri what you need. Actually, Siri doesn't work in my helmets at highway speeds. She can't hear me. So that's not actually true. Having to touch the screen is important. What I would tell you guys is if you're in the market for a Harley Davidson or you're in the market for a motorcycle and you want to go and look at Harley, you need to go and see him. You know, he's the kind of sales guy you like. He's not trying to sell you bikes. The bikes sell bikes. He's trying to get to know you to find out what do you like to do on a bike, what kind of riding, to use his experience and his knowledge to help you select the bike that is best for you. And that's, that's what I like in salespeople. That I had the same exact experience at Motorcycles at Dulles. And, and to me, that's, that's very valuable. Anyways, if you like this video, again, I'd appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. And my ride and ride related videos come out on Fridays. So hit the subscribe button, click that notification bell, and you'll be made aware when my next video is out. And as always, those things help more people get access to my content, which in turn helps me get more feedback and build a community, which is all I'm trying to do. Anyways, until the next video, DMV Solar Rider is out. Ride safe.